Here's the two hooks that me and Olivia made. Good morning, Modern Steaders. We need a toilet paper holder, two door handles, and a couple of hooks. Let's see if we can find them. Do you see them in there? Or do you just see a downed tree? I see all those items in there. Let's get them out. First one I see is right here. I see a door handle. Can you see it? Stick that one aside. And then possibly a second door handle. Let's go put these aside and go we'll check out one more tree. Here we got a downed apple tree that blew over in a microburst we had this spring. And I am seeing right here, see that little crook? That could be another nice door handle or door pull, whatever you want to call it. And I am seeing a couple of hooks right there and over there. Let me get those cut and then we gotta look for our toilet paper holder. All right, let's see if we can use this for a TP holder. Just slide on there nicely. Yeah. So I think that'll work. Uh -huh. I think we'd have to go this way. Yeah. Hold that for a minute. Yeah, I think if we did that, yeah. flatten the back side, that'll make a nice TP holder. Yeah. Yep, yeah, awesome. What do you think about this one? Yeah, this could be a hanger. Just take this twig off, and then you, got, you, you just have to flatten the edge a little bit. Oh, I, this was my thinking. You could do it that way. My thinking was we could do it this way. And then you could hang your coat. I got two of them we could do like that. Or we'll trim we, it up. Yeah, or we can have like more space and have it this way. So like, well, something. I don't know if we'd be able to hook it to the wall strong enough that way. Yeah. Alright, and we'll just cut this. Cut that right. off and clean these up. Obviously you can take this back off and having it this way yeah. again. Uh -huh. And you can have two hooks. Up higher. Or we can keep one down low for you and one up higher for adults. Or we can put them two right here because I can so reach. Perfect. Alright, let's get that stuff ready. These being around branch, they split pretty easy if you don't pre-drill them. So pre-drill them where you want your screws to be. Grab a couple of screws. Four. Four screws. You ready to go hang them? Yep. All right. You take the branches, I got the camera. Okay. And we can have them a little bit farther apart. Let's go at like one here, and then we'll put this one like here for grown ups. Oh, okay. Let me help line it up for you. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. Alright, ready to get the top one? off and you start getting close. One more. Yep, perfect. I like it. Now you need to get a hat or something to try them out. Are you going to shirt? Okay, you going to try it out? Yep. Okay, let's see how it looks. 
How does it work? It's good. Perfect. I like it. Thanks. Awesome. We got the taller one. What's that one for? Ski pants. Ski pants or a long jacket. Awesome. Let's work on, on the toilet paper holder. Got it. First, I gotta just square up my edge cut that I did with the hand saw. So we gotta get this out of the way at first. That looks prettier. It does. Yep. Now we can cut this part straight. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Now we can do that part. Now we can cut this part flat. Now we need to pre-drill this one also. Now we need to find a natural location for the TP holder. Like where does it feel comfortable? That's kind of going the wrong direction. We need it like that. It's not in your way. It's right there. Let's do it here. I like that. Just like so. Yep. Okay, go slow. Yep, just keep going slow. Just like that. Yep, keep going a little faster. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, keep going. A little more. Perfect. Awesome. Now we're gonna open up this. No, don't. We'll leave it covered. Oh, okay. For now. Perfect. What's that? I said I like this one for the outside. For the outside, so we just cut the door and. Yeah, so now we gotta figure out how we want it. So, I think I was thinking we cut this oh, yeah. like this, uh -huh. and then we cut an angle here, uh -huh. it'll be like that. We can screw it here and here, uh -huh. whatever height. Does yeah. that work for you? Um, we gotta go okay. figure out, but you like that? Okay, so let's go cut an angle on this and see how we can get it to work. All right, you know where you want to install it? Yeah, I'm going to install it. Over to the edge. What's that? I think I like this. You like it? Whoa, just a little bit more. A little bit. Perfect. I like it. So which branch do you like next for a handle? This one. This one? How, which way do you want it? Like that? Mm -hmm. The other way? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's so better too. Smaller cut this off. Alright. Let's give it a test fit. Let's see how it work fits. I like that. Now let's go pre-drill it. Awesome. That's where you want it? Right there. It is getting warm. You gotta hang that on a hook, I hope. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Make sure it works. You like it? Yeah. Awesome. We're not 100% happy with the outcome of the bar top epoxy, so we just scuffed it up. We're gonna put another coat on. We're just mixing up our two pot epoxy resin. It's a 50-50 mix. I'm just gonna, using the rest of it up, I'm just gonna go half and half and then Got 
going to pour it in place and let it flow out. It's thin enough so it's self levels. Gotta make sure we get that sticker good, huh, Libby? Yeah. Well, I was hoping the second coat was going to be dry, but it's still tacky. It's setting up nicely. We didn't get any more big air bubbles this time, which is nice. We'll let it finish setting up, and tomorrow we can install the toilet seat. We can finish up with our sink. But our toilet paper holder's done. Here's the two hooks that me and Olivia made and installed. Those look nice. Nice and sturdy, too. For now, we just have the regular eye and latch hook on the inside and outside. The nice handles. Olivia chose the handles that she wanted in the placement. Same for the outside. Well, the cool weather's finally here and it feels nice. We got the fall temperatures back. It's supposed to get down to 35 tonight. We'll have to keep an eye on that. We might have to bring in some tomatoes and peppers. We don't want to lose them. We have two new posts up on LumnaAcres.com. We have the breakfast pizza recipe that everybody was asking for. We, I just uploaded that today. And we have a new one on the composting outhouse. So if you guys want to learn more about either one of those, I'm going to leave a link here and in the description down below for the website. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. We're already over 11,000 subscribers. Wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.